Well, let's head over to the Beko kitchen. Look at what we have in front of us. This looks delicious. What is it? Cake. Cake. Lamingtons. Lamingtons. Mel is very happy today. We're and doing we... some bacon in the kitchen, so we're going to do lamingtons. Right, and we're really we're making them. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make them, right. and we're going to decorate them. You know, really easy to do. I've actually made some before, but I'm going to show you how to make the sponge, get it in the oven, and then we can decorate them. But mm. are lamingtons from Australia or New Zealand? Oh, don't start that debate. <laughs> no, it's one of those things, isn't it? I, I think the kiwi. I think we'll just take it. We'll take it. We'll <laughs> own that one. We'll run with it. Winston Peters probably have something to say about that soon. <laughs> anyway, cannot wait to try these lamingtons. Even make them, actually. Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko kitchen. And Mark, we are making lamingtons. We are making lamingtons Okay, let's today. get going. So it's great. So I've just started whipping some uh, room temperature butter with some uh, sugar, mm -hmm. and that's just been going around. And what, what do you call this? Is it a Donna Marie? <laughs> or something like that, is it? Yeah. Donna you know, yeah, Marie? Donna is Marie. Donna Marie? Bay Marie. Oh, Bay Marie. Sorry. What am I thinking of the Osbournes for? Okay. <laughs> right, so we've got some 70% dark chocolate in there, Yeah. we've got some icing sugar, so that's just been sieved. So just pour it pour it on, and then we're just using that so like indirect heat just to melt the chocolate, because we don't want to heat the chocolate. Too so much don't need to stir it, just let it melt. Uh, yeah, let it melt, and then we can sort of stir it in, and then we, we, we want a whole mix. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, by the time we get to the second segment, because that is going to be some for left. De <laughs> decorating the lamingtons. Right, so butter and sugar in here, so cream it till it's light and fluffy. Uh, and then we've got some eggs. So always a good idea, crack the eggs into a bowl so you don't get any shell in there. Right. You know, if, you, if you're feeling risque, you can go it straight into there, but if you drop the shell in there, Aye, it's going to be trouble. a textured cake. Thank you for that So tip. always, always put the sea look. Even the best of us drop some shell in there. Even the best of us. <laughs> <laughs> Talk yourself up. <laughs> anyway, you've got three eggs in there. Yeah, I've got, so I've got three what, eggs in there. What's in this mixture? Um, butter and sugar. Oh, yeah, nice. Right, so just uh, you know, keep whipping it up, but keep, just keep um, scraping it down off the side so it's all mixed uh, thoroughly together. Nice. Right, and then I'm going to start putting the eggs in soon. OK. So I'll we'll get that on uh, again. Yeah. So whip it up, and then we're going to put the eggs in one by one until they're all mixed in. So you can just lower the speed slightly, pop one in, let that all go in and incorporate. Yep. Add the next one. Because you're mixing it all together eventually, why can't you just put all three in at the same time? Well, that's my argument as well. Right, okay. just, uh, why, why have you got to like, you know, mess around with yeah. like, all these different stages and just throw it all in, throw it in the oven? But stages are important, Mark, aren't they? Very important in baking and measuring it out as well. It's a science. Okay. So, right, so all the uh, eggs are in there. And now we're going to put um, the flour in there. So we've got some self-raising flour. That goes in there, and some baking powder as well. And a little bit of vanilla extract as well for a bit of flavour. I'm going to mix that through, and I've also got a little bit of milk as well, which we're just going to pop in as it's going. How's the chocolate? Well, it's taking it... its time. Do you need it this segment or next segment? No, next segment. Oh, good. <laughs> if there's any left. It's a little bit slow, but it'll get there. So, always pays as well. Just, you know, use your spatula, just take it all down, make sure it's all mixed together. And get that nice and mixed through. And then that is our mix ready to go. So we're going to put that in a, a hot oven, about 190 yes. degrees. Nice. For about sort of 12 to 15 minutes or until it's well risen, browned, and um, obviously cooked. So just pop a skewer in there. If it comes out clean, then you know it's cooked. Okay, nice. Right, Brilliant. and then Work. we're just going to uh, line this. Lanterns. So. Homemade lamingtons. I want to see yours. So get on our Facebook page, okay? Take some photos. So, you can tell that's a chef app, a chef likes that. Very crude, but it does the job. So just line it, you know, pop it all in the corner. That's lined, that's ready to go. Mix is in there. All we're gonna do is pop it in, pop it in the oven, and then when we come back, we have made some the power of uh, TV, they're yes. all ready to go, and nice. then we can decorate. So this is probably the, well, the decoration is the fun part. Oh, nice. Of the uh, mix, so that goes all in. Spread it off so it's nice and uh, even. And how long did you stay in the oven for? Uh, about 12 to 15 minutes. Oh, sweet. Until well, uh, Yeah, it's all risen, golden brown, and uh, obviously cooked through. Nice work. Okay, well, we'll show you the cutting up and the finished product very soon and how to decorate the lamingtons. That's after we catch up with Holly. We need to do some more cooking here in the Beko kitchen to get these lamingtons finished. Uh, this is, is this melted down to the uh, right consistency yep, there, Chef? So chocolate's melted. Oh. Put the icing sugar in here. Mm, here are the cakes so they've yeah. been taken out of the oven, cooled on a cooling rack. Yes. And then we are ready to build. So I'm just going to cut those in half. Like, look at that beautiful 
buttery, Ooh, fluffy, vanilla-y sponge. Nice. Right, raspberry jam. Okay, are you going to make me roll, aren't you? Oh, I'm going to make you roll. Okay, wash your hands. Wash my hands. Thank you, Chef. All right, and then I'm going to do a, a nice layer of raspberry jam in the centre. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to put the other part on top. And then we're going to cut it into squares. And then you're going to coat it in chocolate. Okay. And then we're going to roll it through some desiccated coconut there. Nice. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Right. These are going to be big lambings, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to be nice and big. <laughs> Huge. Okay. Right, let's go like that. Oh flip my it on goodness. The, flip it on the side if you if you want to. Oh, I see what you're doing. All right. Nice. That goes to you. Yes. So carefully, so you can use the spoon so it'll brush it around. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. Well, just get your hands in there. You can. Oh. Well, am I being too picky? It's, yeah, it's going to be a very boring. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Just get your hands in there. The more mess, the better it tastes. That's what I always say. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is delicious. <laughs> oh, it's a messy job though. It is a messy job, but, but it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be great. You okay. know, we made another one here. If you wanna make smaller ones, you know, just do exactly the same, but then just cut your cake in half. Oh, you know, and then you goodness. can do the exact same and you just get a nice little smaller, more manageable uh, lamington. <laughs> okay. There you go. So make sure it's all covered in uh, in coconut. It's pretty and then good. Pop, pop them back in and then <laughs> what happened to that side? <laughs> <laughs> no one can <laughs> see <laughs> that side. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Not trying to cheat. <laughs> okay. I'll, just, I'll do all sides on this one then. How's that? There you go. I'll do it. There you go. So you I was really nice... happy with my <laughs> finished product. I was like, there you go, that'll do. Yeah, you got some nice bite sized ones. You know, so if it's if it's easier to do nice small ones, you know, do small ones and then you can eat more of those because they're smaller. Okay, wow. Oh, you really got to get your hands dirty, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, but yeah. That's but fun, they, though. That's the fun. This is a great one for the kids, you know. Isn't just it? don't let them leave the kitchen and play around the house without washing their hands. Okay, it's just, I'm going to get both sides of this one. Oh, they look delicious. These are gourmet lamingtons. Look at that. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Are you one. happy Look now, Chef? Yeah, now I'm happy. Oh, now you've got little baby ones. Yeah, little baby ones. There you go. <laughs> okay. These are for the people that like to indulge, but just like to control their portions. It's all right. It's just a little bit. Beautiful. Okay, cool. But it is hard to get this chocolate on. Is there a way to do it better than just using your hands? Get your hands in there. Okay. <laughs> okay, this no, is No, that's it. And, it. and it's... Um, you know, because you've got a delicate sponge and your jams there and you've got two layers, so actually probably the easiest way is just to pop it in and just sort of, you know, rub it with your hands okay. and just go around. They look good though, don't they? Yeah, they look great. It's they messy making them, but... Yeah. Can't wait till you finish. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that. <laughs> Wasn't a very good roll, that one. Okay, cool. This is good. Yum. That one's not very good, Chef. Don't show that one. <laughs> we'll just cover it in some oh, yeah, there you go. There Coconut you go. hides Beautiful. everything. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Okay, well, now I guess I've <laughs> got the chance to eat this, which is going to be fantastic. Okay, just as a side... Oh, you pick something up, sorry. Oh, are you coming in the house, aren't <laughs> yeah. you? Yeah. Would you like to award you? No, it's all right. No, I'm not looking those. <laughs> okay. You can roll the next one. So while Mel's doing that, if you'd like things to be a bit spicy, make sure you head to our Facebook page for your chance to win a caddy of these four authentic Mexican sauces from Cholula. Perhaps you could play Russian. Hang on, next. hang on, this bit I can do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <Ooh. laughs> Thanks, Mel. Delicious. So helpful. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> and these are awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, they turned out quite well, didn't they? Yeah, they look yeah, amazing. Yeah, I finished your uh, half a job thank on office. You, thank you, thank you, Mark. <laughs> okay, what are you doing tomorrow? All right, I'm joined by Bridget Davis, and we're going to do a Hawaiian style poke. Okay.